Okay, this is TJ Dodd. I have a IRC6255 advanced model here, and the problem with the machine is that uh, paper tray number two is saying that there's no paper in there, and the problem is that the little sensor flag, paper present sensor flag, is broken off, and um, um, I'm going to show you what causes that and what you can do to fix it so it doesn't happen again. Um, basically here I'll show you the flag I'm talking about. It's, uh, this flag right here. Okay, this is the assembly out of the machine. It's upside down. And here's our flag. Right there, can you see that? This is what a new flag looks like. So you can see right there, you got about half of it broken off. The end section here breaks off. And I'm going to show you what to do to fix that here in just a sec. Okay, I've got the new one in, you can see right here. Um, what causes this thing to break is that um, there is a spring right back behind this plate here. And uh, when this mechanism here gets uh, uh, used for a while, that grease gets kind of dirty and it just doesn't pull back like it used to so this spring back here isn't sufficiently strong enough to uh, pull that back so then that sensor flag stays up there like that when you open the drawer and it snaps that off the drawer comes open and it snaps that off it's supposed to pop back like that um, so I'll show you how to take this out of here I've been just shortening them up until I can find a spring um, that will replace it that I can get a part number for this will get you by and your other option that I've been doing um, before I found this out was just to replace this whole assembly well obviously shorten the spring is gonna be a lot cheaper and okay so what you want to do is you want to flip this over and uh, first you want to take this cover off so you can gain access and then you can see the spring right down here in this area right here that's the spring we're talking about. Pull off these rollers and this torque limiter. You can get to the spring pretty easily. Just go ahead. Get your spring hook in there. Get that off. Alright, straighten the camera out of here. Um, I've already shortened this one, but the spring's kind of hard to get off of here and back on on the back side, so I just pull it out like this, take your dikes, and um, snip off about three turns of that spring. Um, you can see right there, that's how much I snipped off of there, just about three turns. And then just grab a section of that with your dikes, pinch it in between the, the windings, and just twist it. Make yourself a new circle like that. Okay, and then all you need to do is stick it back on there. Put it back together. Flip it over here. Check right here, just push, making sure that the flag's popping back up like it's supposed to. Seems to be working okay. That's it. So then you have your parts that you need would be this uh, sensor lever, which is. Uh, FC52537 and uh, sometimes the spring gets lost too uh, when that breaks and sometimes the whole thing pops out of there so here's the, the part number for that spring that's a uh, you can see that FC98060 so you can order that and that should take care of your problem